Hello, welcome to my new home. So I'm back in my hometown. You can hear my dad sawing some wood over there doing whatever dads do. But it's a beautiful day. I'm waiting for some work to be done on my car. So I figured I would load up uh, this boy, my Olympus 10F. I've got some color plus, my favorite. I'm gonna load her up and I'm gonna just walk around. I have absolutely no idea where I'm gonna end up, what I'm planning on shooting, where I'm even going. I might walk around like my main street. I might walk around the woods. I don't know. So I uh, come along for the journey. Let's see what happens. <laughs> film video if you don't watch the film get put into the camera, right? Doing this without a table isn't the easiest thing in the world. Go in, please. Please. Please be kind. Uh, line up with the sprockets. There we go. Ah! And we're set. Oh, closed. Now is it closed? Is it closed? I think it's closed. Look at that. Let's go. This is how you do it, right? Show the camera. Show something you're gonna take a photo of or that I already took a photo of because I'm like, oh shoot, if I'm making a video, I should probably film the thing. I took a picture of that, you see that? I took a picture of it. Isn't that fun? How do you turn the camera around? Can you turn the camera around while you're filming? Guys, help. I don't know how to do this. Sissy, sissy, where are you? Teach me how to use my phone to make videos. <laughs> mm. Telephone lines, I'm a sucker for telephone lines. I don't know if I've ever, does this work? This might work. I'm a sucker for telephone lines. Fire hydrants, telephone lines, and just general detritus. Yeah. Same camera, camera hasn't changed. Took a picture of that as a, uh, some kind of like emergency vehicle went by. I tried to get it, I tried to drop my um, shutter to 125. Um, cause it's 200 speed film, so it's pretty much, it's sunny out. So, you know, basic exposure would be F16 at 250th of a second. So I can get away with like 500 at 11 if I want to have slightly less. Probably 508 is about as wide, maybe 5.6. If I really want to try and push the latitude of the film, I don't know. But I saw that one at 125 at F-16, so technically it's like gonna be a stop over exposed, but, and also the, the car was white and it had lights on it, so we'll see how that turns out. But I was hoping to get a little bit of motion blur. Can you hear me at all? It's kind of windy. The reason I did that was try to get at least a little bit of motion blur on the car. Uh, we'll see if it worked. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the beautiful house over here though. Like, look, at this. look at this front yard. Look at this yard. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Now uh, we continue on. going on on this guy. Look at all those lines. Look at him. So many lines. So many. I'm 
not traveling particularly quickly. <laughs> I'm getting distracted a lot. Uh, but I guess that's a good thing. How close are you to my face? I feel like you're very close to my face. Is this better? Should I film everything like this? Um, but yeah. Just a second. Ah, <sighs> hanging out in one of my, actually one of my favorite buildings in town. This place has been like on the market and, and just like vacant for ages. Um, but it's a, it's a cool little, little building that I sometimes think about if I were an entrepreneurial man with money, perhaps turning it into like a record store slash cafe, but it's got no curb appeal and it's not in a main thoroughfare. So it would just be an absolute money vacuum. Something about the Pen F since I have not featured this camera before. Um, I say that like I featured so many cameras. <laughs> Olympus Pen F uh, came out in, uh, I wanna say 67. I could be wrong. I think it came out in 67. It is a half frame camera, much like the Yashica uh, Rapid that I featured in my first video. This is a slightly more refined half frame camera. Although as far as I'm aware, it is the only ever interchangeable lens SLR half frame that was ever put to market. Um, so it's a bit of an odd oddity, uh, but I've wanted one of these for absolutely ages and I finally bit the bullet and bought one that looked really nice um, on eBay with some Christmas money that I got. Um, so this is a little present to myself, but the, the shutter dial is on the front of the camera, which is a little odd. Um, it's, you, know, you read it like from the top. So like it's, the placement of it isn't bad because you look down, you can see what your shutter is set to. It goes anywhere between bulb and then one second to five hundredths of a second. It has a rotary shutter in it, like a movie camera, which is weird and bizarre, but because of that, you can have flash sync at any speed if in case you ever want to do, you know, flash photography with that. It's got the little port right there. It comes standard with a uh, 38 millimeter f1.8. That's like the go-to kit lens that comes with this camera. You can also get like a 20, I wanna say like a 25 millimeter lens or so, which would be more akin to a 35 millimeter lens. And since it's a half frame, like it's got quite a substantial crop factor. So a 38 is like a 50, basically like a 50 millimeter um, lens, almost maybe like a 55 or something. I forget, I looked, at, I looked into it at one point, but I would love to get my hands on like the 25 mil because I do really like a slightly, slightly wider, like 35, a 35 millimeter lens is, mm, love me a 35 mil lens. I'd be lying if I said a large part of me buying this camera wasn't just the big, like black letter F on the front. <laughs> At least that's what caught my eye initially. It looks so nice and it's so small. It's so small. Oh, it's so good. I put a few rolls through it. Uh, I'll, I'll throw up some of my, um, favorite photos I've taken with this camera so far. There has been a little bit of a learning curve with it. And as I said, I think, I don't think uh, the shutter speeds are quite accurate at like the higher end of things, which is strange because normally it's the slower shutter speeds that get messed up, but I think 1 500th is exposing closer to 1 250th. Um, but we'll see when I get this roll back because I've been exposing everything like a stop over. So honestly, everything might be quite blown out. This video might be a wash, we'll see. But like, there's some information about the camera in case you were curious. Let's keep going. Look, old cars, old cars. Guys, I found them. I found I found old cars to take pictures of. Look at that, oh my gosh. Mm -mm. And it's a wagon here. Uh, can I stay on YouTube now? Am I allowed to be part of the community? <laughs> Why am I like this? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Making my way Downtown. through the roll. Got 32 shots so far. So I'm about halfway. Let's use it up. There used to be this great old, like, outdated gas pump right here. They must have torn it down. Dang. 
Remember during quarantine, I was back home for a few months and I took a photo of it and I really like it. And now it's gone. And now it's just a bunch of, bunch of semis. What's up with that? Or trailers, I guess. I don't know. Well, that's a bummer. Oh well. Life continues on. Elementary school. Yeah, it's like a real old school from like the 40s or something, or maybe 30s even. It's got like designated girls and guys um, entrances. <laughs> of course, they, they weren't using those like when I was going there, but uh, still fun that they're there. Oh, also fun fact: someone drove into it <laughs> apparently, like a uh, like a month ago or so. Lord knows how, it's a parking lot. What the heck were they doing? But yeah, someone drove like straight into the wall there. So that's what that's about. Fun, fun, fun. I got run over there. <laughs> I just want to be able to take photos like grainy days. Like, look, I feel like he'd find, he'd find the photo here. I'm gonna try, but he'd find it. He'd find it. Um, I go to advance my film and it stops at 50 exposures. So apparently the roll of color plus I put into my camera was a 24 exposure roll, which I totally didn't even notice. But thinking back, I think I do remember seeing a 24 on the roll. I didn't even notice. I just asked the guy at the store to give me some color plus. I didn't even check to see if it was 36 or 24 exposures. Um, so I guess that's the end of the roll. <laughs> well, that was the roll. Uh, hopefully the photos are good. Uh, if I have some more commentary after this, you know, stay tuned for that. Sun behind my head, does that look good? Um, if not, Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, welcome to some parts of my hometown. Uh, I'll see you next time.